Hey guys, this is Brad and Mike from Dallas Geek, and <laughs> and we are here at Alcon with Brian Holm with Photo Persuasion, and we are here to talk to him about his cosplay photography. So, how did you get into cosplay photography exactly? So I'd always been interested in photography and just taking pictures of my friends, and probably about eight, nine years ago, I randomly went to a convention in Dallas, just walking through to a hotel, what's going on? And then from there, it was, um, to me, it was like high fashion photography. You had all these people doing these amazing costumes, and I was able to make them, show them off the best that they could. So okay. it just kind of, you know, went from there. Cool. I know with every style of photography, there are different things to be able to latch onto artistically. What is the element of cosplay photography that gets your attention the most from an artistic perspective? So, like I said, everybody does have a different style, and and mine tends to be a little more dramatic. Okay. So when I'm looking at a at a cosplay or or something, I'm going. Uh, you know, a Disney princess is going to be fun, mm -hmm. um, but I'm not going to be able to do the light and airy style. Sure. But if they're looking for something a little more mysterious, a little more dramatic, you know, for those, uh, something that captures those those certain scenes. Sure. From from the, the show, then that's what I'm drawn to. Okay. You prefer to go more for moment capture than action capture. Would that be about accurate? Right. I mean, we can do a, an action shot, sure. but it is more of the moment. I want to, and that's actually a great way to put it. I mean, I want to, to find that, that one that one moment that encapsulates everything that that character is. Okay. So, of all the different characters that you've had a chance to be able to capture uh, in image, what has been your favorite one to be able to work on? Oh, okay. So there's probably two. Sure. <clears throat> one is uh, a Wonder Woman. Okay. Um, it was a is a bombshell, um, kind of a, a unique custom take on on Wonder Woman okay. that my fiance did. Nice. And then and then the other one was probably Jedi Bell. Nice. Yeah, I I think I actually saw that one. That that was yeah. that was pretty cool. Yeah, and and it's becoming a thing to do like Disney princesses mixed with Jedi's now. Exactly. Whenever you can combine uh, certain, you know, those, those different elements, like you know, like Disney Disney princess would be great, but you know what would make it greater? Lightsabers. <laughs> you know. So. Oh yeah. But and being able to do that to have that creativity. Yeah. And then for me to be able to capture that and be like. I took that photo. Yeah. And it gets even more appropriate now that Disney owns Star Wars, so exactly. it just works even better. Exactly. So now you have, you know, like Rey's now a Disney princess, mm -hmm. just, you know, but then there's all the other things. I'm waiting for an alien Disney princess, like a xenomorph. Because <laughs> technically, Queen, yep. you know, Spawn, yep. aliens are now Disney princesses. Oh, yeah. What is your process for cosplay photography? Uh, do you prefer to be more studio environment or outside and do more of a gorilla setup? So how, how do you like to do yours? So I'm, I'm definitely more comfortable in the studio. Okay. And even when I am on location, I'm still using studio lights. Okay. I, mean, I can shoot natural light, but I want more control than that. Okay. Uh, and then my process is I really try to get as much as I can in camera. Okay. Probably about 90% of my work requires no editing. Okay. Uh, it's just like it's, it's out of camera and it looks great because I'm taking that much time, that much, I'm putting that much control into each picture. Okay. So that actually brings up a good point. Uh, one of the more common staples of the really popular cosplay photography is a lot of post-processing, uh, mm -hmm. especially for the composite images. Right. Um, how much post-processing do you usually do on your images for, say, the the bigger, more involved setups. Right. And some of those I'll do, some of them will be quite a bit. Like if I'm doing a, a Jedi shoot, okay. then I'm going to rotoscope the lightsabers. I'm going to put in some of the effects. Most of the stuff already comes out of camera though. Like the dramatic lights, the okay. spot, you know, the spotlights, you know, the shadows, all that's already there. Okay. So then I'm just adding to it. And then there'll be some photos where, you know, you're removing the entire background. You're doing more of a surreal landscape. And that one takes a little bit more time. Okay. But for, for a lot of my work, it's, it's kind of a beauty shot. Okay. And so all I have to do is maybe adjust the hair a little bit, um, you know, adjust the skin slightly, color correct. Sure. And, but most is already there in camera. Okay. So for the cosplayers that you have had the opportunity to work with, mm -hmm. um, is there a certain kind of cosplayer or uh, a certain level of experience of cosplayer that you like to work with or do you prefer all kinds? I, you know, it's funny that you mentioned that. So when I first started, I was drawn to the gregarious cosplayers, you know, somebody who, who has an experience and, and I'm very used to posing a, a model. Like I will pose, they don't know what to do, I'll pose them completely. Okay. 
And you know, the less work that I had to do, the more time I was able to spend taking photos. But recently, I've been more drawn to the people that have been a little more reserved. Because I, I noticed that um, all they need is just a little encouragement. Okay. And somebody who would never even approach a photographer for their photo to be taken, suddenly with just a, a little little bit of help, a little bit of encouragement, they turn, they just turn to this great cosplayer. Just, you can see how it, it, it changes them. Yeah. And and that's something that my fiance has been able to help me with, to help like notice that. And and so I've kind of drawn more towards towards the people that so you may have to do a little more work to get something amazing out of them. Sure. But that photo to me is going to be more amazing than somebody who's been model- modeling their entire life. And sure. I just like take a picture and it's it's good. Cool. Cool, cool. So you really enjoy the more personal side of the interactions. Yes. Okay. Yeah, definitely being able to, to see people grow. You know, I, I've worked with people for, for years and I've seen their, their first cosplay up to their what they're doing now. And to see okay. them grow and then be able to be a part of that. Okay. Um, you know, I, I want to be able to to motivate and and do my part to help them in this community. Sure. Speaking of your photography overall, how exactly did you get into photography? Was it portraiture or was it something else that you just kind of discovered portraiture after the fact? It was. It's always I always wanted people. I always wanted to shoot people. Okay. Um, I have no eye for landscapes. I mean, you show me an architecture or like the most beautiful sunset in, in the world, and be like, that's great. Click. Oh, that's crap. <laughs> Nice. Um, so I always wanted to do uh, something with a heartbeat. Yeah. And and then I was drawn, you know, I had all my friends, like in college, is when I first picked up my first uh, SLR. Mm-hmm. And I always wanted to make my friends feel pretty. Sure. And so a lot of that was, you know, just getting better at making them feel good about themselves. Okay. So how does cosplay photography compare to the other kinds of photography that you normally do? I don't do other types of photography. <laughs> <laughs> No, um, it's a uh, it's a little bit different. You you get to be you get to be way more creative. Yeah. In this, um, you can do things with a cosplayer that you I would never ask a bride to do, um, sure. or or some like the the, the boudoir shots shoots that I do. You like uh, you're like oh listen and okay now jump up and down now wing her around now you're fighting somebody go 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 you know I, I can't nice. I can't do that with a bride because then she just looks sure. at me like we're not paying you anymore. Very nice. Um, so then, I guess the last question I have for you is, ha- what kind of shoots are you wanting to do now that you haven't had the chance to do yet? Right. So, so we're all, as photographers, we're always yeah. growing. We're always expanding our art. Yeah. And as I tell all my models, art demands a sacrifice. So... Um, what I'm going to start, what I want to start focusing on now is doing um, even more location work. Mm-hmm. Like, I want to be able to go in and um, do something with, with colors, with, uh, you know, kind of create in Dallas where you wouldn't have the best location, mm-hmm. create the location with lighting, with, with creative angles, okay. and, and really expand and create an amazing portrait without having to do all the works. So I don't want to have to charge somebody to do all the post-production sure. when I can get that in camera with just a little bit extra time. Okay. Well, very awesome. It, Like I said, uh, I've had a chance to see your work online before. I love it. I think it's really, really cool. Thank you. So if you are a cosplayer and you are wanting some really great pictures, definitely check him out. He is going to be just awesome for you. So. Thanks. Until next time, this is Brad from Dallas Geek saying, see ya.